Ladies and gentlemen, Delta Force is in full swing. I've had the chance to get into the game myself and spend some time playing it. I am here to tell you that the game does present some stout competition in the all-out warfare FPS space. Now, is the game worth it for you? Well, that's what we're going to jump into this video and break down. So what are we looking at when it comes to Delta Force Hawk Ops? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say it because it's probably what a lot of people have already been saying and what you will assuredly hear many times over, which is that this game, at least in my opinion, is going to be a direct competitor to the Battlefield series. There really isn't any other game on the market that I would compare it to at this point. It presents an almost identical play style, game mode, operators, classes, as Battlefield does. Now, as I've stated in many other videos, I am not going to call this game a Battlefield killer because I don't think that it is. And again, I don't think that there needs to be a monopoly on gaming where one game releases and kills every other game in that genre. That being said, however, it is going to present direct competition to Battlefield. Hopefully, in a good way, 2042 had a poor release and a poor reception overall, only picking up in the latter half of its life, so hopefully the development of the next Battlefield title will be taking notes and cues from what people enjoy about this game and iterating upon that, as well as including things that people have wanted since Battlefield 3 and 4 that the developers, for whatever reason, seem to continue to ignore. Now, the Delta Force release is only an alpha test, a pre-alpha test, one or the other, so the game is pretty bare bones in terms of what you're offered. There are three game modes out of the gate. You have your hazard operations mode, which I suppose has been renamed to Tactical Turmoil. Uh, I don't really like that name, doesn't roll off the tongue very well, uh, but for whatever reason, they seem to have changed it. Uh, you have your all-out warfare mode, which is your classic battlefield, wide open map, conquest mode, as well as the campaign. I'd like to get into the two game modes that are are your online multiplayer modes. First and foremost being the Havoc Warfare game mode. This is going to be the direct comparison to your Battlefield Conquest. Tanks, ATVs, LTVs, choppers, infantry on the ground, points to capture. Uh, right now, it's really reminiscent of, I, I guess, breakthrough, kind of like uh, whatever the breakthrough mode was. It's it's not so much conquest as it is defending the objective sites. You have two sites, A1, A2, B1, B2, so on and so forth, and you are either defending those sites or attacking them. Once a site or a sector is taken over, the enemy is pushed back. I believe there are four, maybe five sectors total, and and whoever either defends the best or attacks and takes over the best wins the game. So it's not quite conquest right now. It's probably more of the breakthrough mode, but very reminiscent of your battlefield gameplay loop. Now, the operators in the game are a mixture of your class, uh, engineer, medic, assault with some hero type abilities. And the only reason that I say hero type abilities is because they aren't strictly gadgets that you just throw on the ground or launch into the sky to aid your team or defend a point. Uh, for instance, the assault character actually has some sort of exoskeleton type suit that enables him to run at twice the speed as every other operator on the battlefield. So it's kind of blending multiple game genres together with some of these abilities. Uh, I believe that one of the engineer or defensive characters, he has a, a drone he can put into the sky that kind of pulse attacks enemies, blurs their vision. Of course, you have your support character who can shoot medic darts or, uh, you know, shoot a dart into a smoke cloud and make that smoke cloud uh, essentially a healing smoke cloud. So kind of like maybe a dock from Rainbow Six Siege. And then you have, you know, like a recon character. She can shoot arrows. The arrows uh, pulse and reveal enemies. Things like that. So it's not your classic Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 class separation with just, uh, you know, ammo and, and med kits and a defibrillator. Uh, there are those things in the game, but it's also blending a little bit of the hero aspect of what you might see in a game like, you know, uh, Warzone or DMZ, uh, Rainbow Six, uh, 
uh, I wouldn't go as far as, as to say Apex, but you know, it's, it's blending some genre. As far as the weapons go, they are pretty straightforward. Nothing that you wouldn't have seen before. You've got a lot of AK variants, M4s, a lot of ARs, marksman rifles, SMGs. It's all pretty straightforward. They're going to go by different names. The customization system for the weapons has taken uh, a lot of this sort of new wave. Again, we always compare it to Tarkov because they're kind of the OG, but your really sort of detailed breakdown of your weapon attachment by attachment so that you can see what is available within that specific attachment menu and then attach it to the weapon with a view of the gun overall. So operators, classes, gadgets, pretty straightforward. If you've played any of the recent shooters in the past three to five years, then you are going to recognize how this works right off the bat. Now, before I move on to the overall feeling of the game, the fluidity, the matchmaking and all of this, I want to touch on the tactical warfare or tactical turmoil mode. I believe it was originally called hazard operations, which is, which is what I think that the uh, sort of B attempt in 2042 was called, which maybe that's why they changed it, but I don't really like the name. It doesn't roll off the tongue well, but I believe it's called Tactical Turmoil. This is essentially your BR Extraction Shooter mode. I played two or three games of this mode before recording this video, and I would compare it more than anything to something like DMZ. It's certainly not anywhere near as direct of a comparison to Tarkov as Arena Breakout out is it's much more fast-paced it's way more reliant on your abilities as an operator your class as an operator uh, than it is extracting or looting or taking your time tactically maneuvering around the map to complete quests all of your quests and objectives are highlighted on the map you can select them at any time it pops up for the entire team the map right now is pretty small which is not necessarily a bad thing it lends itself to more active engagements on the map, a lot less downtime. Uh, I'm assuming that everyone on the map can see the same objectives if they have them active and can go for those at the same time, which results in a lot of close quarters combats that end up in choke points because the map is so small. Again, I would compare this right now more to DMZ than anything else. I didn't really play DMZ that much. I didn't really care for it. This mode, the tactical turmoil mode, it seems fun. I like it. Um, I I haven't dove into it too much to really have uh, a really deep in-depth opinion about it but I, I definitely already enjoy it a little bit more than I enjoyed DMZ. It would be nice if going forward they introduced maybe a, a, a slightly hardcore mode a more hardcore mode with perhaps a limited HUD or you know some of the objectives on the map weren't highlighted all the time maybe you had to discover some sort of item that allowed you to identify where the objectives were. Things like that it's uh, very lenient in its current state. Uh, new players to this particular type of game mode uh, would have no problem starting on a game like this, but it's fun. It is. It's fun. It plays really well. It feels good, which is going to lead me into the latter half of this video, primarily focusing on the fluidity, fluidity of the game, the gunplay, the performance, and the matches overall. So let me just start by saying this. It is extremely refreshing to be receiving games that that are technically being released in alpha, pre-alpha, maybe even beta, that actually run well. Cannot tell you how refreshing that is. I have made so many videos up to this point harping on how tired I am that I feel most people are of getting games that are unfinished, that are releasing in alpha, beta, whatever, charging 20, 30, 40 bucks to play those games, and they just run like crap. Delta Force runs really well. At least on my system, I have a mid to high end system. It's certainly not the highest end, but it's beefy enough. The game runs really well. I have no problem holding 144 frames at all. Very little hiccups. There's a few bugs here and there, some audio glitches, a little jitter bugginess, textures popping in and out from time to time. But overall, the fluidity of the game is, is fantastic. For something that's releasing uh, in 
and early access, if you will. The state of the game is well worth the download. I, I don't know if it's going to release free to play or if they're going to end up charging for it. Uh, but right now, I believe it is free to play if you're able to get a key. It's well worth the download. It's a lot of fun. The gameplay feels good. It feels snappy. It feels the operator's gadgets and mechanics feel good. They feel intact. It's not janky. There aren't massive frame drops or performance drops in heated moments of battle, which is a big part of this game. The matches, they are quite dynamic. Uh, they may not be as fully fleshed out yet or as dynamic as a battlefield match would be, uh, but I, I see that coming very quickly and very soon. The matches are very dynamic. I think once we get some bigger maps, the game modes open up a little bit more. People get more comfortable with how the game works, how to operate the vehicles. It, it really is a direct comparison to an all-out warfare mode in Battlefield. There's constantly explosions going off, tanks, vehicles, helicopters, infantry on the ground, all kinds of ambiance. If you've played Battlefield, if you're a fan of Battlefield, you're going to be right at home in this game. The matches feel alive. They feel good. It's a fun time. I do highly recommend it. I think the game is in a great state. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of getting used to as far as what the operators can do for you and how to play them. So moving on to my final point, do I think the game is worth your time? What is the verdict? I absolutely do think the game is worth the download. I think it's going to present a strong amount of competition to this sort of large scale warfare FPS space. Uh, the only game as far as AAA goes that's really been doing it uh, the way that they do it is Battlefield for you know a long time. There are a lot of indie games out there that kind of do it in their own way, but this one is is what's going to hit closest to home for fans of those titles of that genre. Now, obviously, the game does need to be optimized a little bit more. It's an alpha. You know, some of the textures will pop in and out on you. Um, you might get a little, you know, jitter bugginess, as I say, from time to time. Um, from mode to mode, it seems like the game has to sort of load in and, and render all the data for that mode. So when you first start, it might be a little less than stellar for you, uh, but it really takes no time to catch up. Overall, I don't have any complaints about the performance of the game, about the gunplay, about the use of operators. The game just works really well. It's not hard, guys. You know, it's 2024. We're living in almost 2025. It's not difficult to use the technology that we have available, assuming that you've been able to acquire the proper capital to put the work in, to just make a game that works. You know, to just make a game that works. This is the second game that's coming through the level infinite pass system. Arena Breakout is being published through the same uh, sort of po portal launcher, whatever. In both games, right out of the gate, they just work. They run well. They run well. They work. I don't think they're going to be killers or takeovers of Tarkov or Battlefield. I think that they're going to present a nice, fun iteration on those gameplay styles and hopefully force these other guys who are releasing games to step up to the plate, to iterate, to make it better. I think Arena Breakout is far more comparable to Tarkov. I think Delta Force is, is practically a one-for-one one to, to Battlefield. I, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Arena Breakout is going to release on the 13th. Spectre Divide, which we streamed a few days ago, is releasing next week as well. So we've got games coming, which we desperately need. I'm looking forward to a lot of it. That being said, I appreciate you guys watching through to the end of this video. I know I gave a really quick overview of the game and my thoughts on the game. It's nothing radically new. It's all going to be pretty familiar to you. Just learn the systems, learn the operators, learn the gadgets. Right now, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's one, maybe two maps, one game mode. You jump into the tactical turmoil. You've got one map that if I've played on. I don't know if there are more. It's it's pretty straightforward stuff, guys. It's not going to be anything too too crazy. It is a lot of fun though. Uh, life has been a little busy here recently, so I apologize about the delay on the upload. I really wish I would quit getting Windows updates in the middle of recording as well. So let's go ahead and turn on Do Not Disturb mode. We will be live again this weekend, more than likely continuing to stream Delta Force. We are going to be live here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. There are links to both in the description box of the video as well as on the channel. Twitch is your preferred platform. You 
can easily make it over there. We are 30 out of 50 followers on Twitch. We're growing slowly but steadily trying to hit that first milestone. Thank you guys so much for all the engagement recently on the YouTube channel, the subscribers, the comments, the likes. I love it. I love having conversations about these games. I love doing these essay type videos about these games. This is what I enjoy. It's fun. I'm having a great time and you guys make it all worth it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys online. Oh shit, bro. Dropped a couple little fraggies there, huh? Might need to switch, yeah. Now that we're indoors. Hear people outside the building. That is a player. That is a player. I would be willing to bet money that's a player. 